Hurricane Milton made its mark on Florida. A week later, the fallout continues. My home with everything in it is gone. All these people have been down here all their life, working their off, trying to get, you know, to make money to have a nice place, and now it's all torn all pieces. We may have survived Milton, but will homeowners survive what comes next? You can't get insurance as it is. We watched insurance rates skyrocket after Hurricane Ian. The last thing anybody wants to find in their mailbox right now is a home insurance cancellation notice. But more than 140,000 people receiving them after the latest insurance company goes belly up. Well, if you live in a condominium, chances are your rates are going to go up. Many taxpayers tell me that they are hesitant to file their 2022 income tax returns. More people in Florida now need flood insurance because FEMA has redrawn its flood maps. There's a lot of people that probably are in the same shape as me. Same, same boat. We're all in the same boat here. More than 173,000 insurance claims and growing have now been filed in Florida following Hurricane Milton. Those claims are expected to cost the insurance industry billions. Good evening and thank you for counting on NBC2. I'm Kelly Burns. And I'm Peter Bush. So will they be able to pay your claim? Does this mean our rates will go up again? NBC2's Dave Elias, who covers the insurance industry for us, is getting some answers. Well, that's right. Home flood and condo insurance is already difficult to get here in Florida. And now some people are worrying with these past two hurricanes, prices could go even higher. You know, everybody's worried. After scenes like these are plaguing Florida. You can't get insurance as it is. Folks fear it could get worse. It's easy to see how these property owners would be concerned about that. However, it's a little too early to treat that as a foregone conclusion. Insurance agent Doug Nellen says that we may not know for sure until the middle of next year. It takes insurance companies about a year to fully tabulate what their cost exposure is from a hurricane. The big wild card is reinsurance rates. If the global reinsurance market decides to make adjustments to rates for the 2025 hurricane season, that will go a long way towards determining where Florida property insurers need to set their rates. Reinsurance provides insurance to the insurance companies, and the storm now estimated to cost companies a combined $36 billion. Most likely, the largest incurred loss will be for citizens, just based on its market share. One out of five residents has a citizen's policy. There is no indication that they will have a problem paying claims. However, some residents are getting what appears to be a cancellation notice. Doug Nellen says it's just the opposite. It prohibits insurance companies in the short term from dropping or canceling homeowners. Because of the storms, the state issued this emergency order forbidding companies from canceling anyone. This is actually a good development. Although there is still about a month to go in hurricane season. In Lee County, Dave Elias, NBC2.